you are welcome to our second day now we are still on algebraic expressions i told you algebraic expressions is a little big part so you'll be seeing it for some time so today we are still on algebraic expressions but we are looking at multiplication of two binomials so that is what we are looking at today we are going to look at how to deal with two binomials now a binomial is an expression of two terms example x plus 4 into bracket and 2y minus 1 they are what we refer to as what binomials and most of the times you'll be asked to multiply these two binomials and when you are given something like this how do we go by it now we go by using the distributive association the distributive um, expression and um, that is we are going to use each member in the first bracket to multiply each member in the second bracket so the distributive property is used to deal with multiplication of binomials now let's note this now when you have this in the distributive property this is how you write it so you have what a plus b all in brackets b multiplied by what a minus b note the difference this particular one you have to really note it because most of the times it comes in a b c objective question so note how it is done when you have a number to the power two minus a number to the power two this is how you express it so please pay attention and as i always tell you when <clears throat> i'm teaching take your notebooks and your pen and jot down and put down notes as to whatever i am teaching you if you just sit down and you watch the video by the time you finish watching the video you might have forgotten everything that i said but you can put down your own notes and you do your referrals from your book now that's how different is this one to this one now this one <clears throat> you have a plus b and all of them are in the bracket both of them are being raised to the power 2. So the sum of A and B is raised to the power 2. And how do you write this in the distributive form? It is what? A plus B being multiplied by what? A plus B. You understand? You know that when the power, a number is being raised to the power 2, that means the number is being repeated what? Twice. So this is being repeated twice. And that's the same thing that is happening here. The only difference between this one and this one is that this one is subtracting. So you are going to have what a minus b all in bracket multiplying what a minus b all in bracket so i want i want you to <clears throat> look at the difference between the number one number two and number three the number two and number three you can see that all of them are in the bracket and the answer the summation the answer that is the a plus b is raised to the power two and the a minus b is raised to the power two but here the individual numbers are raised to the power two so if a is raised to the power two and b is raised to the power two this is how you express it this is how you express this and this is how you express the third one now let's take the questions for the day so we have five questions on the board now how do we deal with this question they said every number in the bracket must multiply each number in the second bracket now most of you are doing well from the assignments that i am marking but the problem is your multiplication of positive and negative numbers are still not on point and you remember that assignment that i gave you writing 10 examples each of the rules um, pertaining to um, negative and positive numbers if it's still not on point you do that assignment for me again all the rules negative times negative will give you positive you give me 20 examples each if i still realize that your addition and multiplication of negative numbers are not on point because it is very important because some of you are able to expand by the end of the day you see something like negative 2 times positive 5 and you still tell me that it is a positive 10 so please try and get your negative and positive numbers the multiplication and division to be on point okay now let's see how we are going to deal with this so this is how the question is going to come by x plus 2y in bracket you know that when a number is in bracket and there's a number standing in front of it or by it that means they are multiplying each other 
they will not bring a multiplication sign here for you. Automatically, you know that what? They are multiplying each other. Now, what is the rule? The rule is each number in the first bracket will multiply each number in the second bracket. That means x will multiply 2s and it will also come and multiply 2t. When you are done with that one, 2y will also come and multiply st and will also come and multiply 2t as well. So let me pick the question and we go. So number one, x plus 2y <coughs> being multiplied by what? 2s minus 2t. I hope you've already seen what is happening here. Your negative and your positive must be on point. So first step, positive x times 2s. So you have what? 2sx. We are done with this one and this one. Then this same number, this same variable, we'll come and multiply this. A positive number. When there's no sign, you automatically it's a positive number. So a positive variable multiplying this. Positive when it meets negative. Negative is always stronger. When positive is multiplying negative, the negative is always stronger. You always get a negative answer. So positive x times negative 2t will give you a minus 2tx. Don't forget. Now, we are finished with the first member, right? Multiply each member in the second bracket. Now, we are going to deal with the second member in the first bracket. Multiplying each member in the second bracket. So, let's go. 2 times 2 is what? 4. Then you bring your y and your s. So, y and s. Now, let's take the second number in the first bracket. Multiply the second number in the second bracket. So, 2 times minus 2t. Positive 2 times negative 2 will always give you a negative answer. So you have 2 times negative 2 giving you minus 4. Then you have your y and your t. You bring it here. Okay. Second step. So this is the first step. The second step is that you're going to ask yourself, do you have like terms? You remember what like terms are, right? Like terms are numbers that have the same variables. So 2x, 4x are like terms. 2x squared uh, plus x squared are like terms. Now ask yourself, do we have any like terms here? We do not have any like terms here. Do we have? No, we don't. So our final answer is this. This is our final answer. You cannot do like terms because there are no like terms. Here, so this is our final answer. Let's make our second question for the day. We have x plus 2. x plus 4. Okay. So you say with me, um, what do we do? First member, multiply first member second in the second bracket. First member in the first bracket, multiply the second member in the first bracket. X times X. Numbers of the same base, when they are multiplied, what do you do to their power? You add. So you have X squared. Then X will go for the second member. X times 44 give us what? Plus 4X. Always bring your coefficient before the variable. We are finishing them with the first one. We go to the second. 2x. 2 times 4. 8. Are we down? No. Unlike the first one, there are, there are light terms here. What are the light terms? The light terms are what? 4x and 2x. So 2x squared doesn't have any light terms. So you carry it down there. 4x plus 2x. 6x. Plus your 8. Are there more light terms? No. So this is our final answer. Third question for the day. <coughs> K, mm, K plus 9 to the power 2. K plus 9 to the power 2. Now look here. Do you realize that it is the same expression we have here? Do you realize it? K plus 9 to the power 2. So k plus 9 will multiply itself. So you come down here, write this for me. k plus 9 into bracket, multiply what? k plus 9. This is how you expand the distributive. So you have what? k times k is giving us what? k squared. k times 9 is giving us what? A positive 9k. 9, we finish with this one. 9 times k, 
plus 9k. And the last one, 9 times 9, which is a positive 81. Now, what do we realize here? Are there light and there are. So we have k to the power 2, k to the power 2 doesn't have any member there. So you carry it down there. Now, 9k plus 9k, 9 plus 9, 9 plus 9 is 18k. Then, what do we have? Plus 81. This is our final answer. Please, I saw this in some of the answers. I saw this in some of the answers. Now, k to the power 2 is not the same as k. k to the power 2 is not the same as k. One of you did it. You still went ahead and added 18k plus k2. It was something different. I think it was x to the power 2 plus 2x or something. You told me that it was 3x2. No. K to the power 2 is not the same as K standing on its own. So do not add this 2 for me. Okay. Now, third question for the Is it fourth question? So the fourth question is. Now let's look here. Do you see the same thing here? n minus n to the power 2 is the same thing here. So n minus n will multiply n minus n. So let's do it here. So we have m minus n, m minus n. Well, we'll move here. It's easy, right? m times m. Please, m times m is not 2m. m times m is not 2m. It is m to the power 2. It is m plus m. That is 2m. Some of you do this petty mistakes. You don't pay attention when you are solving the question. Please pay attention. Don't give me m times m and write 2m here. It is m to the power 2. It's only when you are adding that you get this. When you are multiplying, you add the powers. Please, let's avoid the petty mistakes. So m times m is what? m squared. Then m times negative n. The n here is not a positive, but it's a negative. So it is negative m n. Right, now let's come here. n, negative n here is not coming to multiply this. So you have what? Negative n n. Then look here. Negative n times negative n. When the two negative numbers are multiplying each other, you get a what? A positive answer. So it is m, n to the power 2. Okay. So I hope you understand. So let's come here. Let's see if we have light terms. We do have light terms, don't we? Now, don't be confused. Just because I brought, if I write m, n, and I write m, n, they are the same. If Abena is sitting with, or if Ishia is sitting with Alice, Ishia is sitting with Alice, and the next time when I come, and Alice is sitting here, and Ishia is sitting here, they are not two different people, they are the same people. The fact that they've interchanged their positions doesn't mean they are, they are two different people now. They are the same people and they are sitting at the same place. So when you do your multiplication, you see MN and you see NM, don't say it is different or they are two different variables. So if it is two here and it's two here, two MN is the same as what two NN. The only difference is that their positions have interchanged. So that is just it. <clears throat> so you have n squared. M doesn't have anybody here, so you just bring him down. Now watch your negative n n plus negative n n. There is an invisible one here. There is an invisible one here, so it is what negative two n n plus this one n squared. Right. So this is our final answer. Please, some of you have also been writing the invisible one there. No. In your final answers, please don't bring this invisible one. It is only when you are at, like, you know, something like it, just to remind yourself that there's an invisible one, you're bad. Please, in my final answer, I don't write one M N squared plus. No, this is wrong. Some of you did it. I don't want to mention names. You know yourselves. So please, 
done right in front of me. Okay, now let's see the last question for the day. The last question. Now, how different is this question? This time around, they have told you what to do, but it's not different from what you have been doing. This time around, they've been specific. They say multiply 2t plus r by 2t minus r. It is the same thing. This time around, we just added some English, but this is the same thing. So it is 2t plus r multiplying 2t minus r. Okay, so we know what to do, right? First number goes with first number, first number goes with second number, this goes with this, and this goes with that. So 2t times 2t, 2t times 2t, let me write it here for you. What is the answer? 2 times 2, 4, t times t, t to the power 2. So we have 4t squared. Then this one, positive 2t is multiplying what? Negative r. So your answer will definitely be a negative answer. So you have 2t, then you bring your r. Let's move to the next one. r is multiplying what? Positive 2t. So you have r, so you bring your coefficient first. So 2t r. And this positive r is multiplying this word, negative r. So you are going to get what? A minus any time a positive and a negative number are multiplying. Your answer will always be a negative number. So you have what? Negative r squared. Okay. Now, there are like terms here, right? Now you have a negative 2t and a positive 2t. The answer is what? Zero. It's simply what? Minus 2 plus 2. If you are owing somebody 2 CD and you want to pay the person 2 CD, you are no more owing the person. So your answer is what? Zero. So mostly when you see something like this, we just go ahead and cancel it. So you have negative 2T will cancel with 2T. Because this whole thing here will give you what? Zero. So our final answer is what? 4T squared. Then we bring our what? Our minus R squared. So this is our final answer. Okay. Now there's something that I noticed some of you were doing. Some of you were doing when you write your four t squared. See how you know this one is zero. There are four t squared minus zero minus r squared. No, don't do that. Don't bring the zero. Okay. So this is where we are going to end here today. I'll see you next week. Be good boys and girls. Bye.